Welcome back to Learning As We Play, Crusader Kings 3, and we just created the Duchy of Georgia, making our succession vows a little bit less woeful. We have our ally over here, we have some enemies all around, well, potential enemies all around us, due to, well, the Abbasid Empire falling apart and now we're, we'll see where we go. The next rank we would need to achieve with our dynasty would be that of a kingdom. Now that we've achieved the duchy. Of course, we will just check this out and we will see the kingdom of Georgia lies to the west of us. We could, of course, also check what else uh, we might be able to create in terms of kingdoms. Um, let's check on his end. I think it might be a little bit easier and quicker. The Kingdom of Dailam. That's that's quite a bit away. Uh, the Armenian principalities are already... Well, principalities, I'm quite sorry. Are already a kingdom. So we can't conquer this and be done with it. But of course, we could declare war against them and press our claims. However... They have more money, they have more troops, they are well connected. They, on the other hand, still have way more troops than just us. But it would be a nice starting point into here. Who else can we declare a war upon? Well, can always try a holy war if we had the piety, which we currently do not have. But quite honestly, I've never seen piety as an important thing. But given our current geographical location, I think it is worth considering to play a more piously directed character because it would make room for all those holy wars. It would, of course, make us a little bit weaker due to less troops from our skills. But that doesn't need to be a bad thing. Um, still, holy wars are dangerous because all these people of the same religion might still, you know, go against you. But for now, I think we're in a fairly interesting and decent position. Now, the Kingdom of Armenia itself isn't all that strong. Their ally, the King of Italy, is the problem. So, what we are going to do is we are going to figure out how are they allied to King Louis, Princess Eglantine of Italy, which is not her. So presumably, it's also not her. Abbas. Who? Okay. Who are you? And who is this? Oh, ho, ho, people don't like her. We're going to go into stress and critically so. There are levels to stress. I talked about this in an earlier episode. So we're, going to, we're just going to jump in on this. 59% killer. We're going to do that to break this alliance and potentially uh, get on with it. Now, the music just popped up because we have risen in the stress level. This decreases our fertility by 10%. Quite honestly, not the worst thing to have. However, I'm not quite sure that actually is all there is. Might have a larger influence. We don't see it at the moment. But yeah, the music just kind of pops there. Now, okay. Um, to manage our stress, the game presents us with certain opportunities. We do have calling for a hunt still on the backhand here. And with all the ransoms coming in, we might just do this. However, sometimes the, ga uh, the game suggests us certain uh, options here, which gives us new traits. Some of these aren't terrible, to be quite honest. Some of them are quite bad. Diplomacy minus one, intrigue plus one, stress loss minus 20%, and minus five. We spend much time in the brothel, and that has become our second home. Now... Let's check ourselves out. We are lustful. I feel like rakish would be the right thing for us. 
and uh, it doesn't really affect any of our valued traits all that much. So uh, it actually evens out our intrigue with our diplomacy. This allows us then to go visit the brothels to decrease our stress. Um, so we are going to go with the rakish trait. Again, not the worst thing. Uh, it's obviously not ideal. You don't tend to not want to have things that have some sort of red negative connotation to them. But, you know, it's not the worst thing. So now we should be able, as you can see, visit a brothel. It costs us some money. Uh, and you know what? We're just, we're just gonna do that because we, we still feel fairly stressed. We're trying to kill someone here and that's, that's very stressful. <laughs> so we lose 78 stress and 25 gold. This, uh, will take a bunch of time to happen again. We can only go there th every three years. Uh, we are losing some agents here in the scheme, but it doesn't seem to matter. The Armenian principalities just absorbed our ally, which is very suboptimal. So let's hope our plan comes to fruition before he goes back to his full strength. He even has some mercenaries up. Now the problem with this is that he, our ally, is not going to help us in a war against his liege. So, that's not ideal. So, we have swayed our physician perfectly fine. Let's check if we have some sort of uh, person here that might be good if they are swayed more. Um, yes, our, our spy master indeed would be, would be good if he was just really on our side. So, we're going to sway him a, a while. We'll keep an eye on this plot here. So, once he is at full strength, you can see it a little bit here, he should have 2,790 troops. He will be better than us. We have 2,044. Don't be fooled with uh, the 5,000 here. That's with our allies. And our strongest ally is his vassal, so that's not an idea. What we could do, of course, we could f swear fealty to him and then just eat it up from the inside. And since he is of our same religion and stuff, that, that wouldn't be all that bad, to be quite honest. So he just... He has a lot of allies. And strong ones, too. The quality of his uh, armies is just better than ours as well. Oh no, our bishop is doing bad things which reflect badly on us. We can ransom him. Certainly, have your child, I do not care. We're not gonna call for a hunt. Alright. The family craft, interesting. Some of these events you might not have at the end of the day. Um, because I do have all the DLC, but it's always a little bit random what you get anyway. So, might be a DLC thing. Uh, I don't think it is. The inspiration thing was included in a previous patch, I believe. So, let's see what it is. I'm just finishing up the day's business in my council chambers when my wife, Princess Margarita, saunters in with her sister, Kale. That is a fantastic name. Eagerly at her heels. I put down the ledger I was just reading, knowing no good can come from this unexpected visit. Margarita hesitantly remarks upon my appearance. My husband... You are mighty and powerful prince, but some do not yet give you the respect you deserve. You need something to demonstrate your authority. My sister could smith a fine set of regalia that would reflect your status. Sponsor her and see how her creation will improve your mood. Well, to be quite honest, 55 gold isn't terrible. Uh, we'll, we'll task her with forging us a regalia. She is inspired, so she's very competent in her craft. So, yeah, sure. These artifacts get to pass down, so 
That's not the worst thing. See, they're almost already surpassing us here. So let's see. Um, we we don't we don't need local influence rates. We're not going to waste that money here because we're already at 59, 59 percent. This no point in spending 50 gold to make it 100 or something. I don't even know if it's possible. Sakaliba settlers. A band of several hundred pale-skinned Sakaliba enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe have escaped the realm of my acquaintance Amir Muhammad. Talk as he may about how treasured they were in his armies and the, his harem. They have brave, braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. We all have scars, their leader Tatiana tells me, on our bodies or deep inside. But we are strong and determined. We long for some land of our own, where we can speak our ancestral tongue. If you let us settle in the city of Baljanar, we would work hard to make it prosper. So, I mean, we don't care about him at all. Uh, but we also don't care to have roaming Muslims settle in our home here. Um, so, I don't want to send them back. I mean, she looks scarred. That's not great. She can stay, but her friends must go. Hmm. What does this settler's thing give us? I mean... Where's this city? Up there. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, you c yeah, you're welcome. He might object to that and come after us for it, but it's all right. So now we have our inspiration project going on here where the regalia are being forged. We have our murder plot. We have our sway plot. So everything is in flux and going. Let's uh, quickly check for, for prisoners. Anyone interesting here? Ransom. Ooh, things are happening. Let's see. Philippa comes of age. Oh. And she is a holy warrior. My lord. Fantastic woman. So you will marry. Confirm our alliances. You. Convert. And be gone. We could have... Ah, we should have gotten him on the court. He would have been a great knight and commander. Should have checked that before. What's up with you? Anyone want money? No? You're just on your own? Convert? What are you? Who are you? You're a thinker. If I recruit a child, is it in our court? Let's figure this out. Okay. We want it to him, him, there, them. We want them to convert and to join our court. So once this is unpaused here, let's see. I mean, they do have parents. Kill the woman. Yeah, so they are in our court here. All right, the princess Eglantine of Zwinik is dead. So no more French alliance for this man here. Um, let's get you an education focus. You are going to go down the education thing. And we're taking away your guardianship. And we're going to give you someone else. Not me, though. Let's see. Who's learned here? Our son and knight. And we want to convert the child to our culture as well. I'm not sure why. This is just something I'm going to do because I can. 
And we're also going to go ahead and pin him. Because I am now vested uh, in, in how this child might fare. Okay, let's see. So this is a little bit better. Not much, but it is a little bit better. Um, let's pause. We have two counties that we want from him. And if we win, we go into a nice little uh, truce as well. So we grow, he shrinks, and that's that's pretty good. However, again, our main ally contributing the most to our troops here will not join us in this war. They will not join him fully. This is what he has. Um, but we only get 2,650. And he is over here. And he is... I don't even know where. He is, I don't know, somewhere. So before we declare this war... Uh, let's real quick check through our kids here. And their kids. Um, so we want a matrilineal match for her. That doesn't really matter. Alliance power. Someone not too old, maybe. City, city, city. That isn't ideal. Plus it wouldn't, I don't think it would give us that. Um, let's check our own children before we try and, okay, let's see. Let's get some alliance power here. The apostolic church, excuse me. Where is the apostolic church? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I need to figure this out. This is, very interesting. Where exactly is this? My boy. Where are you? Go to location. Okay. That's weird. Um, that's really weird. Okay, let's go. Uh, we want an alliance power. And there are some counties here. It's a little bit sad because... Um, you're covering a lot of screen here, but we can move this around. So where are you? It's over there in Greece. I need something a little bit more closer to him. Okay, he's in, in the Principalities. He just doesn't exist on the map. He's nowhere near either. He is just a city. Like he's the mayor. So he would be the best, but... He's very far away, so it's also not the best. My. Do we have something for our boys, maybe? That gives us some alliance power here. The barony, barony. I mean, baronies are better than cities, but they're still kind of horrible. And I don't see them anywhere here on the map, really. Ah, yeah. It's a difficult situation. Very difficult situation. Does he have his troops raised? Is the question. He has a lot more men at arms than us. So that's a problem. You can see here, uh, up there, this is the levies. So uh, his, his basic troops, pretty much. Um, and he has a lot of bowmen. 600 of them. We have... 100 in comparison. He has 300 horse against which we have nothing. Um, some pike would be good for this. And he has 20 Onagas, which is uh, very good for sieges. So he's pretty well equipped here. And his allies are also contributing a whole lot of that. Um, what alliances do you have? Okay, that one is within his realm. So... That doesn't matter. Both of these are within his realm, so these shouldn't join him. I'm a little bit confused. Um, generally, your own vassals don't join you in a war, so we shouldn't be facing his allies. 
but maybe that's only for internal conflicts. You know what we're going to do? Are we going to check? We have two claims here. We have Cartili and this. So we're going to check which one is more prosperous, basically. Development 6. This one isn't doing too well. There's chafing control. So this isn't ideal. However, this would help us with the Kingdom of Georgia. Whereas this wouldn't. So we're going to go for this here. And we're just going to try. Okay. <laughs> One more thing to consider before we do this. Real quick here. This is what he can field. The math seems to be off a little bit. I'm not sure. How does he 12 knights? If, if we check him personally, he doesn't. Maybe it does count the allies' military strength here as... It's a bit weird. <laughs> this is definitely what we're going to face. This is not a wrong number. I'm just not quite sure how it gets to that because... This is a bit weird to me. But I've never really looked closely at this. I have hundreds of hours on this. Well, almost 200, let's say. But I have hundreds of hours on, on Crusader Kings too. I still haven't looked at everything. And it doesn't really matter to enjoy the game, which is a very, very fun thing about it to me. So let's see. Will we risk it? Something to consider before we do. If we do this, it costs us 100 prestige. However, to call in an ally will cost us another 100 or so. And we might have to, because while his troops are currently less than ours, they are not all that much less, and they're better, potentially, than ours. Uh, at least they, they beat ours, in a way. So, maybe we don't do that, and instead we go over here. Calling this ally costs a little bit more. Another thing we could do is just kind of spend some money to get a little bit stronger. We could upgrade our current men-at-arms that we already have. Uh, by spending some money. It costs us monthly to, to increase them. Or we add another regiment of men-at-arms. Now, we have some options here. We have something local, the Cataparks. Uh, Cataphracts, I'm sorry. Um, and they are a specific type of cavalry. A heavy cavalry. And if you if you compare them... Well, they there's no other choice for you for a heavy cavalry. But they're likely better than regular heavy cavalry. Something that I personally really enjoy is uh, Onagas. Having something to help sieges is, is very important. Uh, but also having something against cavalry is equally important, I feel. Uh, given that we are, well, surrounded from by horse uh, leading troops a lot. So I'm not entirely sure where to go first. This is good for sieges, this is good for battles, uh, especially defensive battles, more so than anything else. Um, do you have some information here? I, I personally, I don't know, I don't care all that much to look at all this. This is more important, uh, in hills and mountains and deserts, so this isn't good because we have a lot of uh, bad conditions where these aren't all that effective. Wetlands, for example, and hills and mountains. So, uh, cavalry doesn't doesn't do it for me. These are great against heavy infantry, but nothing much else. And honestly, pike are pretty spot on for where we are. Uh, mixed with bowmen and some armored uh, footmen who just work wherever. Uh, maybe this is the right choice, and it's a choice I'm gonna make. We'll get some just to get a little bit bigger, just to get a little bit stronger. So we unpause here. We did break his alliance to fight him, but right at this moment... Okay, there's something else we can do, honestly. Something else we can do. We can uh, take someone here, I believe. Let's check. Which one can we send to stir up trouble? Can we? 
Promote culture, promote cultural acceptance. No. Find secrets. Oh, support schemes, we don't really need that anymore. Convert, that's only for inside our realm. Domestic affairs, doesn't really matter. Control, he's doing the right thing. All right, so let's let's go find some secret here. Um, man, I okay. Where is he? He's here in this in Hayek. So this is where we send him to find some secrets. Maybe we can do something with that. For now, we just keep living our life, strengthen ourselves. Okay, a new culture was formed. Inspiration, a wife's touch. I spot my wife, Margarita, chattering excitedly with Kale, listening ideas and suge suggesting for her regalia. Oh, listing, not listening. Listing ideas and suggestions for her regalia. My metal smith is barely concealing her contempt, clearly annoyed by my spouse's interference. And... As you are forging regalia, she goes on, it may as, well, may, may as well match my grandmother's old regalia. Part of Kale's soul seems to be dying. Listen well, Kale, my wife must be heard. She doesn't want to be our lover. Come, darling, let's leave it to the expert. We're not, we're not interfering with this. Anyone who has done any sort of creative work ever knows that people trying to butt in from the outside. Huh. There's little worse than that. Alright. We have a new leadership perk. And we can become now an architect, which is pretty good. It reduces cost and time to build stuff. So we will take this absolutely. And then we will slowly go into this until we die. Pretty much. Uh, however, I think it's worth checking out. Let's see our home district, which is here. Can we build something interesting here? Well, we might be able to upgrade this eventually. Can't upgrade that. Because we don't have the the prerequisites here. Wait, why can't I upgrade this? Has a temple grounds building. Okay, because we only have a shrine. That's that's it, basically. My metalsmith Kale updates me on a progress droning on about the limits of hammer and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my regalia. Making may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in my own money spent. No, Kale knows what she's doing. Let's see. We are humble, so it's difficult for us to, to interject here. And there's quite a big chance of us going the wrong way. We could give some suggestions, uh, which is a stewardship challenge in which we are really, really good. So 23% 20, chance nothing happens. 76% uh, chance we get a higher quality artifact. So we'll we'll risk the stress level here and go for that. And we'll save up for upgrading the temple grounds because it gives us money, some people, some protection. So this is uh, this is a good upgrade to invest in, I think. And it's cheap with all we got going currently. Well, cheap-ish. It's still fairly expensive, but... So I'm not going to go to war right now because um, I am getting old. So eventually we're going to die. Uh, and I don't want to have my heir be thrown into a difficult situation right off the bat. I would like to prevent this. And everyone around us, while being fairly weak... Oh, I'm sorry, what was I saying? I just checked again and I just saw that he's down to 1,300 troops. Oh, my. We don't even need our ally for this. This we can take on our own. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to do that. The reasoning why I wasn't going to do was basically... 
I don't want to weaken my position at this very moment. Uh, because everyone we could attack is, is really fairly well protected. But he is currently in a bad state. I don't know exactly why, but it doesn't matter to me much. So, um, yeah. Next episode, this is what we're going to do. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. If you got any sort of questions or input from your own game, let me know down in the comments. Talk to you soon.